Hi Dreamers and anybody new to my channel, my name is Jade and in this video I'm going to give you five steps on how to start journaling. Hey guys, so I know that there are many people out there that would like to start journaling or start a journal but kind of find the idea a little bit daunting so in this video I want to give you five steps on how to start a journal it's very simple very easy and by the end of this video you should be starting your own journal so let's go ahead and jump right into those steps step one in how to start journaling guys decide your focus and what I mean by that is what do you want to accomplish with your journal um, do you want a place for memory keeping? Do you want a place to set goals and track your growth? Um, is Do you need a place to basically dump all of your feelings at the end of the day, good, bad, or ugly? Um, there are a myriad of journals and types of journaling that you can do. Um, so you want to kind of decide what you want to accomplish with your journal before you jump into it. Um, so, and, and it does, this process does not have to be something that is over complicated. It can be as simple as I want to have fun. I want a place where I can be creative. I want to keep track of my art. I mean, any reason, just decide what it is that you want to accomplish with your journal. And that's it. Step one. I mean, really, it's really as simple as that. So decide what you want to do and we'll move on to the next step. Step two in how to start journaling is to pick a journal. Um, this is probably my favorite part of the process because I love all things stationary. But there are some great journals out there. Um, and I've, and when you journal, when you journal, you want, you want to want to be writing in this book or drawing in this book or whatever it is, that you, whatever type of journaling you've decided on, you want to want to come to this place and journal. So, I will show you a couple different of my I do a, a whole bunch of different types of journaling, but I'll show you some of mine. Um, this one I really love. It's my creative journal. I just finished it. My October flip is up, and I'll be doing a complete flip, of course, minus the talking because I ramble entirely too much for this whole book. Um, but I, this is my creative journal. Um, I do drawing in here. I write down. I keep memories in here. And I um, do kind of scrapbooky layouts sometimes. It's just whatever I'm feeling, however I want to go with the flow here, this is what I do and how I keep this journal. So I would consider this like a Fobonichi or an art journal. Um, I found this journal, haven't used it yet, don't know what I want to use it yet, but it's really very pretty. I love the color, the gold there. I got this at uh, Hobby Lobby. It was originally $9.99, but they have 50% off the Paper Studio. Um, and the pages are dot grid. So, yeah. Um, and you want to decide what you like as far as pages. Do you like wide ruled, college ruled? Do you like um, grid, dot grid, watercolor paper? I mean, there's so many different types of journals out there. Um, I use this one for my gratitude journal and i like it because it's the paper is wide i'm not wide rule college rule or whatever so i can get more on the page than um you know more on the page and wasting so anyway that's basically what you want to do step two you want to pick a journal there are so many beautiful lovely journals out there so many different types of paper you figure out what would be best for your needs and your budget and go and get it um i've seen beautiful journals at places like ross tj maxx marshall's of course tuesday morning has a lot of good journals this um place that just opened right up the street it's called hamrick's um nice journals you can find them online i mean anywhere guys so pick a journal that speaks to you pick a journal that inspires you when you see the front cover because this is a place you're going to want to go to when you're ready to start journaling or when inspiration or creativity hits you okay that's step two step three again very 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 simple pick 
a writing utensil that you love okay like there's nothing in this world i'm telling you there's nothing in this world that beats a good pen i love pens i have an insane amount of pens um but you want to pick something that you're gonna love writing with and uh my love of stuff have changed has changed over the years so you know i'd go from different types of pen to whatever but whatever you're feeling at the moment that's what you use so far right now at the moment these two are my favorite ones to write with because they're nice the the ink comes out really well it's nice and dark and black and um there's no skipping in these pens i haven't had any trouble with them this one here is the pentel inner gel is that can y'all see that and this one is the pilot g2 um and for those who like crave or want color the paper made flares they're great um and any any type of pen most any type of pen, pen i'm sorry comes with um comes in a variety of colors like these are i have some pink ones green ones brown ones whatever same with this purple blue pink whatever so they do come in different colors if you're into color right now i'm just i've been into writing in black ink so that's my preference you figure out what you like you figure out what writes nice and smooth for you and go with it and also if you want to if you're doing art journaling figure out what type of pencil you like best mechanical pencil just a regular number two pencil whatever figure it out get it and this again is not a complicated process number one and two it should be fairly cheap because most people already know what they like to write with they already have probably stashes of pens at their home or their job to write with so just pick a good pen and you're good to go okay guys we're up to step number four and this step is to start small now a lot of people when they first get into journaling i feel like they set really crazy lofty goals for themselves i have done it personally and it did not work out for me um this can cause someone to end up giving up journaling completely or to be really really super inconsistent with their journaling okay and you really don't want that to happen you want this to be a place that you can go to and have fun create whatever you want this to be kind of therapeutic or cathartic um i kind of liken it to meditation like in and it, for me when i get into that flow state when i'm journaling when the, when i'm creating and i just get in the zone it's kind of like meditation for me but actual meditation i had to start small um i jump right in trying to do 30 minutes and as somebody that lives in my head I can't, somebody lives in there i can't do that i couldn't i could not quiet my mind for that length of time so i started with five minutes um and the more i did it the more i got used to it the more i started to fall in love with it and i worked my way up so i went from five minutes to seven minutes seven minutes to ten minutes ten minutes to fifteen minutes uh currently i'm at 20 minutes and i i really i really really love it i try to do it every day and also remember though if you're starting you're starting small you want to just you want to build up that momentum and that pace um and get to a place where you want to go and journal you want to go and create you do not want this to become a chore you don't want this to become something that you dread okay so start small and um also guys remember that if you miss a day or if whatever goal that you do obtainable goal that you set for yourself if you do happen to miss a day it's okay it's not the end of the world don't beat yourself up about it just get back to it when you can um so that is my step four start small and then build your way up and i'm telling you you will fall in love with the process okay guys we're up to step five finally and that is basically just start start your journaling whatever journaling you're gonna do start it get your pen out start writing uh get your pencils out start drawing um if you're doing like memory journaling get your just print your pictures get your washi tape get your ephemera whatever you're gonna decorate with if you're gonna decorate and just get to it i'm telling you it seems daunting at first but if you just start you will fall in love with it you you will love it like so just start don't let anything hold you back um don't talk yourself out of it don't keep putting it off just get your pen 
get your notebook and start journaling already okay and that is it guys for my five steps on how to start journaling so let's review really quickly number one step one you want to decide your focus what type of journaling do you want to do what do you want to accomplish with your journaling step two pick out a notebook that speaks to you pick out something that inspires you something that you want to go to when you um decide that you it's time for you to start journaling number three pick out a great pen and or pencil to use great writing utensils i'm telling you they're the bomb.com so pick something out that you like something that's nice and smooth and you love the way it looks on paper okay number four start small guys do not overwhelm yourself at first and build up to more and more journaling um this will ensure that you're consistent number one and that it does not become a chore or something that you dread you want this to be a, a great outlet you want this to be a creative outlet and you want this to be something that is fun for you to do okay and number five guys seriously just start just start journaling I'm, I'm telling you it will open up the floodgates you will um become more aware of yourself your thoughts um you'll grow as a person you'll change as a person i promise you i love it it's great um so those are my five tips i also have a corresponding blog post on my blog which i will link below it is lilacdream.com and i actually have a couple bonus tips on the blog post as well so again lilacdream.com and i'll link that below follow me on instagram that's also at lilacdream and um if you're new here if you would consider liking subscribing and sharing i would appreciate it and if you guys have any comments or questions definitely leave those below and i will get back to you as soon as i can and i hope that you all have a wonderful wonderful creative week talk to you later see you in the next video bye